and work them in different spots just to get them um, confidence in, in those different positions and stuff. But um, I think it's important that, that you create continuity, create chemistry, you know, create confidence in guys playing side by side and, and, and not create a, a, a bunch of, of different var variables from that standpoint, if that answered. Yeah, I mean, uh, just I, I, I mean, I can't remember exactly where we finished turnover margin wise, but turnovers win games, wins championships. Uh, you know, um, creates big momentum, creates big plays in games. Um, you never know when they're going to happen, but but they they make a huge huge difference, and you get what you emphasize. And I feel like this spring we we really emphasize creating turnovers. You know, a lot of different things, but that, that was one major emphasis. Hey, if we can steal a possession, you know, and set our offense up for success, you know, that, that's huge and uh, in the grand scheme of things. So ju just another, another thing to emphasize. Is that just a mentality or the things you can actually practice to, to get more turnovers? It's both. You know, you, can, you uh, can grade guys, hey, taking shots on balls, you know, whether it's a, a – offensive guy running down the field and you see defenders trying to punch and strip the ball, you know, it, it just becomes muscle memory and habit and, and just a different way to, to teach and emphasize. Where do you see Barnes and Lewis fitting in? Some positions that are pretty, pretty deep. Yeah, definitely. You know, I, I think they have a chance to challenge for opportunity. Um, Khalil uh, came in. Uh, well, I would say well beyond his years a little bit. Should have been going to the prom in the spring, but he's out here intercepting passes in the spring game. Um, so really cool to see where he's at. Just a, always has a smile on his face. Just a, a great kid who, who really fits us. Um, credit to his high school co coaches. You know, he, he came in, uh, had a great knowledge standpoint. Um, technique has been superb for a young guy and just excited to see him challenge for opportunity, you know, whether that's playing 25 plays on special teams or getting in the rotation at nickel, safety, whatever it is, you know, I um, think he's got a chance to challenge for those opportunities. And then same thing with Shelton, super competitive kid, um, all about his business, shows up with the right mindset, you know, and, and just fighting for opportunity like everyone else. And uh, we'll see how it all shakes out out in August. But those two definitely have a have an opportunity to challenge. Can you talk about the self evaluation process that you went through? What, what does that actually look like? Do you call other coaches that you know? Get feedback? Do you just call them? Or just watch film yourself over and over? Like, what does that actually look like? Yeah, a, a lot of different things. You know, I got a circle of friends that are coordinators at different spots that I, that I rely on, I talk to maybe once or twice a week or, or whatever, just bounce ideas or, um, you know, how, how can I get better in this area? And then obviously watching a ton of film, you know, even now I'll go back and throw on games from last year and just uh, watch the flow of the game and the adjustments and that sort of thing. And then just, Obviously, being out on the road recruiting, get a, get a lot of time to yourself, whether that's driving in a car or uh, a late night at a hotel or whatever, just a lot of time, you know, to yourself to think about different things and, and write down, you know, I keep a journal on, on my iPad, basically, and, and just write down things, how I would have did things different, or maybe, hey, I, I like how this, this is or whatever, I wouldn't change this at all, but just a lot of different ways to self-reflect and grow. This time last year, did you have a proper grasp of that idea you were talking about, or the fact that you were talking about you can only learn some of these things through doing it Oh, the lights are on? Yeah, that definitely. You, you did, so you had a... Yeah, I had no idea, like oh, something, yeah, yeah, like until you're thrown in the fire, you don't necessarily know. Um, so it's definitely a learning experience every day. I guess in terms of you now have two spring winter fall camp, that you do now, you think now that you didn't quite know that kind of 
how you're going to shape the defense and how you're teach them. Yeah, I guess just looking at things from a big picture perspective, you know, of whether it's drilling fundamental football, just emphasizing certain things like the turnovers, um, how to, you know, just just the confidence that it takes to get up in front of the guys every day. You know, even dealing with you guys, I feel like going back, I, I've dr- grown tremendously in, in that area. And uh, so I'm excited about year two. Wes, uh, we, I constantly hear coaches talk about having to re-recruit their roster in the transfer board and NIL era. Can you speak to just how your day-to-day has changed in this the new era of college football? Um, maybe it's changed a little bit, but I feel like just by being myself and just the reason why I got into coaching was to build great men through the game of football. And, you know, I feel like if you do that every day and you are who you are and you're transparent and um, pour into guys, then I, I think that that sells itself sort of deal. And obviously Clemson, we're, we're a great place. We have unlimited or really good resources to take care of guys from that standpoint. But um, people don't stay at places as long as I, this would be my 12th year at Clemson, Coach Sweeney 20 something years here as well. You know, you don't stay at a place and uh, for that amount of time and be full of full of crap. You know, you are people know who you are, and uh, you know, I, I think just being who we are every day, guys want to come back. You know, Tyler Davis's roots, uh, X, XT Maskell, Sheridan Jones, JP. You know, those guys want to come back because uh, because of the culture that Coach Sweeney is has uh, created here. Most definitely, you know, I mean, that's that's a huge selling point cuz uh you know, I would say typically, you know, most guys make make the jump in their third year of football, even seeing at the NFL level, you know, rookies coming in usually takes about two to three years, you know, just catching up the speed of the game and so forth and so on. But um, it goes back to we've never signed a junior college player here either. You know, um, if you come in, put in the time, put in the work, you know, and, and uh, once the guys um, – once you get your opportunity or whatever, um, coach is really committed to those guys versus bringing guys in. And two, when you have guys in and out of your locker room, you can't main, maintain a culture. Um, you know, um, if guys are here for six months and leaving, you know, um, it, it, it's a really, really bad vibe in your locker room. And uh, thankfully, you know, coach has been here and, and we've, we've We've been established for a long time, so we don't have to, to deal with some of the things that, that new staffs are dealing with or, or, or even others. And uh, it, it's really cool to see guys come in and really put in the work and, and time, and then once they get their opportun- opportunity to see them maximize it. When you're, done, when you're sort of diagnosing your past defense breakdowns last year, what's at the top of your list of Yeah, I, th- I think it was a multitude of things. I think, um, you know, whether uh, uh, just ga- guys playing the playing technique wrong, um, maybe it was uh, the call. Um, there wasn't a huge amount of mill air bust for touchdowns. Uh, I feel like guys were, were in the right position. Maybe they played the technique wrong, lost their lost leverage a lot of times, whether a guy is supposed to be inside leverage on a route and he lets the receiver stem inside, cross his face, and beat him. Um, so, so lost leverages as well. And then I feel like last year we, 
we played some really talented quarterbacks and, and receivers as well. So Crett a couple times, maybe maybe some sometimes you just tip your hat to them as well. Um, but applying the technique and, and maintaining leverages were a bit big part of it. Yeah, I mean, I, I definitely think we left a lot out out there from that standpoint. Um, you know, we, we finished up there in sacks and tackles for loss again. Um, but I, I can think of times where we missed the sack and let a guy get out, and maybe it didn't affect anything. Maybe it was a throwaway or whatever, but um, we, we need to de definitely convert more on some of our opportunities. Yeah, I think so. Yeah, I think early on, hopefully we can identify our best best 11 and, and get those guys comfortable in that spot, whether that's him at nickel or him at strong safety. Um, but he, he'll definitely have the opportunity at one of those two spots. I guess when James Kowski was here, a lot of people talked about him as like the extension of Brett Venables on the field. Like how much do you feel like Jeremiah has reached the level of basically your extension in terms of his knowledge of the defense? Field? Yeah, definitely. You know, I feel like he he understands what's going on in front of him and behind him, which which is 